everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got everything for you right here. So it's an exciting time of the year in the NBA as this regular season has come to a close and the play-in rounds have been completed, and we are now ready for the first round of the NBA playoffs. Before we get into the two games for uh, this Sunday, April the 21st, I want to invite you to join us so you have access to the VIP club section which has all these tools here to help you make your picks. Okay, so there's only two games, but we're going to take a look at both of them. And the first matchup is the Dallas Mavericks and Los Angeles Clippers. You can see that despite the Clippers being the home team and the higher-seeded team, that Mavericks are the favorites with odds of minus 123 to plus 106. But the teams were very evenly matched throughout the regular season. Um, if you look at Dallas, they were identical 25 and 16 at home and on the road and had a point differential plus 2.3. The Clippers were 51 and 31, so just a game ahead, identical uh, home record as uh, yeah, as Dallas 25 and 16, and then one game better on the road at 26 and 15, and their point differential was uh, plus 3.3. If you take a look at the two teams here, the average status for Dallas and losers of their last two heading into the playoffs, and the Clippers and losers of their last three, so neither team playing good ball heading into the postseason, and they are averaged out. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams are trending in games under the line, both teams under in the, uh, well, the last couple of games, three, the last three for Dallas and the last two for the Clippers. The score prediction has the Clippers at 114-109. to 109. The confidence in the prediction is not real high, a little bit better than the toss of a coin at 60%. And the power ranks indicator, you can see both teams on a downward trend with Dallas holding a slight edge at plus 22 to plus 21. Not a surprise that these two teams are very, very evenly matched. Um, if you take a look at the head-to-head -head games for the regular season, surprisingly, though, as close as they are, you know, in standings and records home and away, neither none of the games have really been close. The Clippers won on December the 20th by nine points on the road. And they won by 19 points at home back on November 25th. And Dallas won by 18 points in a shootout here. What's the 260, 270 point total game back on November the 10th? Let's take a look at the volatility offset. Where if we see how stable the two teams have been, both teams very consistent with regard to their fair to underdog status. You see plus 31 and plus 30. So again, at most of it is very evenly matched up here. If you look at the Public tickets here, the consensus stats is a very interesting take here. If you take a look at all of these numbers here, um, again, you can do what you wish with that. I don't usually look at this, but it is interesting sometimes to take a look at those numbers right there. But in the end here, I do um, like the Clippers at home. I think this is a game decided by four points or less. I like it to be a close one this time. It's playoff basketball. A lot of the games are going to be close. I think it might even be an overtime game, but let's go with the Clippers. Indiana and Milwaukee. Again, Milwaukee is the home team with the higher seed, but they are the underdog. You notice here the odds minus 118 for Indiana, plus 102 for Milwaukee. But here's the catch. Giannis Antetokounmpo, their top player, out. He's been out. That hurts them a lot. And that's why they lost in their standings from the two seed to the number three seed. They are now ice cold down, two and four over the last six, three and seven over the last 10. Indiana average up coming off of a win and 4-2 and over their last six games heading into the playoffs. So Indiana had a regular season record of 47-35. and 35. They were 26-15 and 15 at home and 21-20 and 20 on the road. The point differential was plus 3.1. Milwaukee was just 3-7 and seven over their last 10 games and fell, like I said, to the number three seed with a record of 49-33. and 33. They were really excellent at home at 31-11. But a mere 18 and 22 on the road with a point differential of plus 2.6. But without their top player, uh, a lot of that stuff goes out the window, even their great home record. The score prediction is for Indiana by 10 points, 121 to 111. Uh, there we go. With a confidence in the prediction of about 65%. And the teams have been trending in games over the line. If you take a look at the power ranks, you can see up and downward trend. This was Indiana at plus 23 back on April the 9th. They dipped to plus 17 there, back up to plus 18. And Milwaukee, uh, you see earlier in the season, they were up really high. And this was just back like a month ago, but plus 27. They've uh, been on a slow, steady decline since then. They're now at plus 15. 
If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the teams, Indiana won the last game by 12 back on January the 3rd. They won the previous game before that on January the 1st, just two days prior, by 9. You can see that if you look down through the whole season, the only game that Milwaukee won out of the 5 was back on December 13th by 14 at home. Again, it's a totally different Milwaukee team at the moment. Um, the stability factor. Milwaukee has been very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats, which makes me lean even more towards Indiana because Milwaukee is the underdog. So if you take a look at the public percentages, it's interesting here, the spread, they have 24% Milwaukee, 76% Indiana, and the total is over under. 78% uh, are thinking over, 22% are thinking under. I'm leaning with the over as well. And I really think that this is Indiana's game to win. I don't like Milwaukee at all, even at home with their current condition and the way they've been playing. So let's go with Indiana in a game over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for April 21st. Happy betting and see you again next time.